brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Back in 2017, uh, my mom passed away um, when I was 19 and uh, left me an inheritance that um, included a portion of my father's 401k um, that she received in the divorce two years prior to her passing. Um, of that amount, um, my father um, asked me or requested a $40,000 loan two years ago um, to assist in his completion um, of his retirement home um, with his now wife. Um, and the terms of said loan um, were a bit ambiguous. And um, I suppose over time, uh, it's something that you know hasn't really been discussed. And um, I'm just looking for a little bit of guidance on how to you know pose the conversation and and frame it in a way that that doesn't seem um, you know greedy or or pushy. Um, you know, I, I am conscious of the fact that you know at one time it, it was his money, so um, that is something that uh, you know I guess. When it came to you, Matthew, it was not his money. It was your mom's. You got to get that out of your head. Um, how did he ask you for the loan? Um, it, it, he likes, he kind of has a do it himself style attitude. So um, instead of going the you know traditional route of, I, I suppose, construction financing. No, and, no, no, no. no. How, how did he, it. by the way, he doesn't have a do it yourself because he had to call his son to borrow money. So he likes to do it when he's in control. That's two different things. How did he ask you for the money? Did he text you? Did he call you? Did he sit down with you and say, hey, man, I need some help? How, how did that work out? Um, yeah, he, he called me and just basically, you know, kind of had a, a joking attitude of, hey, I need a, I, I need a loan from the bank of my son. And um, we, at the time, um, I was still a little bit younger, so we... You were 19. Account, so was, yeah. Yeah. And so now you're 27? I'm 25 now. 25. Okay. Yeah, I'd call him right back and say, "Hey, Dad, you borrowed forty thousand dollars from me. What's the what's what's the payment plan going to look like?" Just like that. What's your hesitancy? Okay. Um, I, I suppose it just goes back to this, you know. I guess there's some details surrounding the separation between him and my mom and, um, you know, just the impact that it had on him, both, you know, emotionally, financially. And that's not your problem. Yeah. That's his problem. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd they get divorced? Um, uh, a long series of, um, alcoholism on the mom's side. Okay. On your mom's side? Yes. Okay. And I'm sorry. Um, you lost your mom at 19 and your dad came in and um, was completely inappropriate, did something a dad should never do with a 19-year-old, and uh, put, you in a, put you in a quandary here, put you in a position where you're having to analyze as if you did something wrong. Honey, you didn't do anything wrong. Your dad is completely a turd. He's completely out of line. This was wrong, 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 and wrong. Okay? You, you know, you go to your son right after his mother dies, and with all the conflicting emotions of this money came from him from the divorce anyway, and put you in that position was wrong. Okay? You need to hear that. That was manipulative, and it was wrong. And then he's got the audacity to not pay it back, nor bring it up. And now he's put you in another pinch where you're analyzing, am I doing something wrong? Am I greedy? You said, well, crap, no. You might be a greedy person in this story, but you're not it. Dude, do you hear that? Yeah. Maybe. This is coming from two dads, brother. You don't borrow $40,000 from your grieving son to build a, a, a retirement home. He just don't do that. And yeah. then especially if you do that, you don't leave him hanging, wondering how or wit, how to ask like what's the the fact that he hasn't brought this up for a few years i would call him and jokingly respond hey the bank of bank your, of son of is son calling said no it's calling the note note is due dad <laughs> are you building something are you doing something cool what do you need the money for he needs his money back um, on principle yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah i'm not in a, in a particular situation where I, I suppose i need the money um i don't need to blame it on anything except that. i want my money back 
I was just seeing if he was building yeah. a house or something, might have an excuse, but you don't need one. Yeah, that's what that's what my point is. Yeah, you you shouldn't you shouldn't. I just I, I I'm with John. I just pick up the phone. You don't have to be a smart aleck. I'm feeling pretty smart aleck towards him, but you don't have I to be. Too. You don't have to be. You can just be respectful and say, Dad, um, we never talked about this, and we should have probably put something down on paper. We were both kind of dumb to do that. But I do need this money, and I need to know what your plan is, and I need it really pretty quick. So what's your plan to get that 40 back to me? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Matt, what's the chance he tells you, well, son, actually— That was my money It was originally. my money. Is that going to happen? Um, I, I don't see that happening. Um, I see it kind of, I suppose, being dodged or pushed down the, down the road of like, oh, well, you know, we still have a lot of outlays we need for the home and, um, it's only been six years tighter at this current moment. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just, I would say, you know, I'm sorry about all that, but it's only 40,000 bucks and. You know, I've got I've got some stuff I need to do, and I need to get this squared around because I'm feeling really uncomfortable about it. Yeah, yeah, and you know, yeah. again, don't I'm raise your voice. Something. You don't have to be a jerk. You're not a jerk. You're a kind person. If it was me, I would wouldn't be kind because I'm a jerk. But I mean, this kind of stuff pisses me off. But um, but yeah, you're. It's just I cannot conceive. I can't either. Do of Daniel Ramsey's mother passing away, even if I was divorced from her. And me immediately going to my teenage son it, while he's grieving his mother's loss and saying, oh, by the way, I need some of that money that she took from me in the divorce. Under the bank auspices of, of I'm, I like to just do it myself. Yeah, I don't go to no stupid bank. I don't want to deal with the bank. I want to deal with my 19-year-old grieving son. That's what I'd rather deal with. Yeah. D- Dave, I, 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 you know what I hear in this kid's voice? That breaks my heart. Yeah. He, anything to make his dad happy. He, well, he I think it's worse than that. I think he knows that his dad got him. Yeah. And yeah. there's that there's that sense when your dad's not who you thought he was. Yeah. That all of us go through. It just, but in this case, it breaks your heart. And no, because this time part. it's worse. Yeah. 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 Golly. Sorry, brother. Hey, boys and girls. Don't mess up your own kids. There's a plan. Let's try that one. Create your free every dollar budget today, the simplest way to budget for your life.